Now to our Council House series marking 100 years since the first ones were built. Today we pick up the story after World War II, a time which saw huge and often controversial innovations in housing, including the rise of tower blocks. Tower blocks would allow much quicker construction, cheaper construction, so allow many, many more homes to be built. For every extra story, after I think five stories, you got extra money. So there was a direct cash incentive for councils to build high. Space around them, green space where people could uh, have recreation, children could be down there, parents up in the tower block. Often the system built housing wasn't easy to maintain, it often wasn't very well built. I quite agree with you that repairs and things like that do take a long mm. time. But interestingly, some of the better built stuff, uh, including, for example, Trellick Tower uh, in West London, they have um, survived and indeed are popular. The vast majority were perfectly structurally sound. I mean, it's, it is true that some tower blocks, for example, Ronan Point, were very poorly built. Ronan Point was a new system built tower in Canning Town in East London. A gas explosion occurs and the whole thing collapses like a concertina from top to bottom. I think naturally the uh, concern is uh, on the safety of tall buildings. Relatively few people died but people did die and the, the fact they died and the picture of the tower block changed the way people thought about social housing from then on. 